All right, so today we are going swimming in my apartment. It is Foundation Friday, but instead of a product review today like normal, I wanted to try out this trend because it's been going around the interweb. I believe this got popular in Korea a few months ago, but it's kind of just now hitting the US. I've seen Vogue, Pop Sugar, Seventeen Magazine, everyone is posting about it right now, so I wanted to give this a go and see if it actually works. All right, hair is pinned back. So what we are trying today is a Korean trend called Jamsu. In Korean, the word Jamsu translates to diving or submerging in water. So you can guess what we're gonna be doing today. So basically, the gist of this, you're supposed to put on all of your liquid products, your primer, foundation, concealer, and then we're going to go in with a super heavy dose of this baby powder all over the face, and then I'm gonna dunk in water. And it's supposed to basically lock in your makeup. You're not supposed to get as oily throughout the day. I do have combination skin, I get pretty oily throughout the day. So I'm gonna do a full day wear test with this and see if this trend actually makes me less oily. So let's stop talking and get into the video. If you are new here, you can join the Bay Rito family and subscribe. I upload pretty much Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Every single Friday, I normally do first impression reviews. We're switching it up today. If you guys are excited to see this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I've got my iced coffee to get me pumped on life right now, slash ready to dunk in ice cold water. So foundation I'm gonna be going in with today is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I normally mix shade 10 with shade 12 to get kind of my perfect shade, but since we're putting baby powder on, it can lighten your face since it is a pure white powder. So I think I'm just gonna go in with the darker shade, shade 12 today, and hope that when the baby powder goes on, it lightens it to my actual shade. If not, I'll be a little bronzed today. It's all good. This is one of my favorite foundations. I know how it performs and how it wears on my skin. So I feel like it'll be a good one to kind of test this out with. I have clean hands and I have already primed my face. All right, so my base liquid products are on. I am gonna set my eyes with my normal Stargazer Press Powder, and then I'll go in with the baby powder on top of it, just because my under eyes get super weird, and if I try and bake or do anything, it just totally takes away all of the coverage and they get really weird textured under there. So when I actually got to CVS to find baby powder, I've never realized in my life how many different kinds of baby powder there are. There are about 10 different kinds of baby powder. So I Googled whether you want the cornstarch or the talc. Talc is not good to put on your face and you definitely don't wanna be inhaling any kind of talc. So I went with cornstarch baby powder. I just got this smaller bottle. This comes with four ounces and it was about $1.50. So this is super affordable. Some of the articles say that you can just use your loose powder or if you have a deeper skin tone, definitely don't go in with white baby powder or else you'll just totally have kind of a white cast over your face. I did some investigating when I was in CVS and the cornstarch should be fine to absorb oil just like the talc baby powder does. Ooh, it smells good. And I didn't get the one with aloe or anything in it. This is just mild and gentle, hypoallergenic, good old baby powder. So I'm gonna layer this shit on and then we're gonna go out into my kitchen where I have my bowl, we're gonna dunk, and then I'll show you guys in natural lighting and in studio lighting what it looks like after we do that. Ooh, I'm excited. So I have my NYX sponge here and you're supposed to put on like a super thick layer how are you not supposed to inhale this? From what I've seen, you basically want to just look completely white, covered in powder. I feel like this sponge isn't quite picking up the product. I'm gonna try the Beauty Blender. Okay, yeah, the Beauty Blender picks up a lot more. <laughs> My upper lip right now is looking really intense and cakey. I'm gonna pin back my bangs because I know people are gonna flip out. There we go. Ready to party. Okay, I think we are sufficiently powdered. Some people say to leave this on for about five minutes. I would say it's already been on for about a minute. By the time I get out there and get all the stuff ready to film, it'll probably be a few minutes. Let's go dunk. All right, we have our bowl of water here. This is ice cold water. I have a towel here. So what you're supposed to do is submerge in this for 15 to 30 seconds. If you have more dry skin, they say you're supposed to do it for 15 seconds. If you have oilier, 30. We're going all in. I'm gonna try and do it for 30. Let's see how this goes. All right, I feel like I need some pump up music right now. Okay, okay, here we go. <laughs> that was only 10 seconds. Okay, we're going back in. Sorry that it looks. Okay, a few more seconds. Okay, 
think that was about 25 seconds. I'm gonna towel dry this up. Oh, I just got some in my eye. So you're just supposed to pat, pat it off. Whoa, the water is like totally milky. <laughs> like literally got my entire whole head wet. So looking in my mirror, there are definitely a few areas where it totally rubbed off, like on my nose, I'll show you guys up close, but it's totally rubbed off on my nose and on my forehead in some parts. But my cheeks look really nice and smooth. My under eyes look really good. It doesn't look super great on the center of my face, but the rest of my face looks pretty good. It looks really nice and smooth. The powder did totally rub off. I don't think it totally lightened my face a whole lot. Okay, so hopefully you can see this, but right here, the foundation is like totally rubbed off on the side of my nose. And then this part on my forehead is also rubbed off a little bit and looks pretty textured. It feels really good. It feels like I have nothing on my skin. Yeah, whoa, feels super soft. Just got a really great shower that actually felt really good and like refreshing. But yeah, there are some major issues going on with my nose. I didn't even see this part outside, but right here it's totally rubbed off too. I might have just not put enough powder in those areas because my cheeks and stuff look good. So if we're doing a full day wear test, I am gonna put on a little bit in those areas because I have to go outside. So I'm gonna hope that this doesn't get super weird textured blending over this powder. So I am getting a little bit of drag, I guess, like you normally do when you put liquid on top of powder, but nothing horrible. I actually don't think that this powder lightened my face a whole lot, so I probably could have mixed in my normal shade like I usually do. But now here's what my skin is looking like once I've touched up those areas. So after you take your dunk, I just had a throwback to elementary school fundraisers when there would be those dunk tanks. Those were fun, totally forgot about those. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, so it's now 10.38. We're calling the check-in time 10.30 since that's about when I wrapped up my foundation. All the products I used on my face will be listed down below like always, but holy shitsies. My blush bronzer highlight blended out so easily, so smooth. It literally felt like I was blending on top of a cloud. The thing I do really like about this is that I don't feel like I'm wearing any makeup. My skin feels so soft. Nothing is transferring right now at least. I've never had it feel that smooth and easy to blend. So that's a plus. My skin looks really good right now. It looks super smooth and almost airbrushed. Is this practical for doing every day? Probably not. Would I do this every day? Hell no. Major props to you if you could, but I think this actually may work if you want to kind of waterproof your makeup. If you're someone who likes to wear foundation to the beach or the pool, whatever, in summer when it's really hot and you're gonna be going underwater, this might be a good trick to do. We'll see how this wears throughout the day, but depending on how it holds up, you could also do this for special events. Because of that, I kind of want to do a flash test right now so I can see if the baby powder has any kind of bounce back. I'm assuming it will. This one doesn't have talc in it, but we'll see. Let's do this. It's actually not horrible. I think under my eyes where my stargazer powder is has a little bit of bounce back, but it also could just be because my face is too dark right now, so the flash is making it look actually even to my skin tone, but it doesn't look horrible. I was expecting a major, major white cast. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. So I'm gonna keep this on as long as possible. We will see how it holds up throughout the day. I am surprisingly impressed right now. To be honest, I thought this was gonna be kind of one of those hack gimmicks but right now it's looking pretty damn good. So check-in time is 10.30. I'll check back in with you guys at the end of the night. All right, so it is now 8.58, so nine o'clock. So it's been on for over 10 hours, 10 and a half hours now, and I am shocked. For being on for 10 and a half hours, for being on for any amount of time, it looks amazing right now. It still looks super smooth on my cheeks. My forehead is still super mattified compared to what I usually look like at the end of the night. With the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation, sometimes I do get a little bit cakey around my nose area and a tiny bit on the center of my forehead. And it still looks a tiny bit textured around there, but nothing even close to what it normally looks like. Overall, it looks amazing. I'm honestly super surprised at how good it looks at this point. I was out to dinner with Rach and even she said that it looks like I just put on my makeup. And that's what I feel like it looks like. It really does still look super fresh and smooth and just overall looks really good. Okay, so up close, here is what the foundation looks like. What the heck, look at how smooth it is. I mean, for 10 and a half hours, this is pretty 
unreal for me. Looks bomb. Like I said, I probably wouldn't do this every day. It just seems a little extreme. But what I do think I'm gonna try is putting water into a spray bottle and then maybe just putting this on like the center of my forehead, my T-zone where I usually get super oily and just spraying the water on so it's less of a production. I would totally do this for a special event or if I really needed my makeup to look absolutely flawless all day. Obviously, if you're gonna be doing your hair or something, do it after because you're gonna be Duncan. This actually worked really freaking well. So if you guys like this video and you found it helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you wanna watch more Foundation Friday videos, most of them are project reviews, but I'll leave the playlist down below in the description box along with all the products that I used on my face today. Everything I talked about is down below. Love you guys, thanks for watching. See you in my next video, bye.